get somebody like you. That was Never Have I Ever by my next guest, country music star, Brett Kissel. It's his new single, part of his new album that's coming out on January 27th, The Self Album. Now, that album is part of a much bigger undertaking, though, and I think we'll start there. Uh, Brett, I'll just give you an opportunity to kind of take us through uh, the Compass Project. It's a big, ambitious project that you're taking on. Uh, tell us a little bit about it and why you decided to take on such a big project. Absolutely. I mean, I'm really, really proud of this project. It's four full length albums that are going to come out this year in 2023. Um, I'm really proud of each distinct direction that uh, my internal compass has pointed me uh, to, you know, over the last several years and not just as an entertainer and an artist, but as a dad, as a husband, as as a man. So I'm very, very proud of this record um, or these records because the North uh, album is essentially a greatest hit celebrating 10 years uh, in the business. So a lot of the songs that you might recognize like Drink About Me or Make a Life Not a Living, Airwaves or Anthem are all from a different city that I performed at and we have a live version of that. The East album that'll come out later this year is an acoustic record with a uh, you know, my uh, tip my hat to uh, the land and uh, how much I love the East Coast and the acoustic side of country music. The South album, it comes out on January 27th, has the heartbeat of Nashville. So that's the album that I think everybody would expect. But the West is something I think a lot of your viewers um, would really, really appreciate this record because it's a, it's a true country and Western album. Very traditional steel guitar, fiddle, honky-tonk piano, some great covers, songs about oil and cattle. So I'm really proud of that record too. Yeah, I think all of them are going to be hits, but definitely that uh, that album will be great out here in uh, you know Western Canada, Alberta. Um, I want to talk a bit about the self album because that's the one uh, that's coming out here soon. Uh, a lot of singles from 2022 are going to be on that. Our Home, I know Never Have I Ever, which is uh, the most recent one that's uh, doing quite well. Uh, just take us through a little more about uh, that self album. What um, you hope people take away from it when they listen to it in a couple of days? Well, I'm really, really excited to see what my fans and obviously your viewers, uh, you know, are going to think of that project because it really runs the gamut of all great things of country music. So we've got a song called Watch It that's out on radio right now that really talks about my family, but it shares that story that every single parent um, has shared with me over time. And it's that time passes by so quickly. You blink and you miss it. So Watch It is a very special song. Never have I ever, on the flip side of things, really talks about the early days of my relationship with my wife, Cecilia, and the parties that we used to have. I remember she and I going to bed at six in the morning, whereas now we're parents, so we're waking up at six in the morning with our kids. So it's just a really, really fun song. And then it's got a couple of other very important uh, songs with great messages like Lion in the Sand or uh, uh, an another one called First Place, which really talks about the ups and downs of relationships and the lyrics go, I should have never put her second in the first place. So that's a song I'm really excited to share uh, with the country music world here in a couple of days. So when we talk a little bit more about this uh, Compass project, it's uh, it's quite a big undertaking, like we mentioned. So I heard you say it's all going to be coming out this year. Exactly. Yeah, pretty much every every quarter, uh, a new record will come out. So the first one, January 27th, the next one, late March. It looks like uh, the next one, you know, kind of late June. And then we will have the final of the four albums come out in September. Um, so that way we can uh, end the year off with a bang and possibly some tour dates are going to be announced around that time, too. I see. Okay. I know a lot of people around here will be excited to to hear more about that. Talk to me a little bit about just the work that's going into this. I know um, you must be just working so hard to make sure that you're putting all of yourself into this. Give each of those albums the distinct uh, kind of feel that you were describing earlier. But uh, ha to have all this music come out in one year, it's got to be a lot of work for you. Well, it's a pretty gigantic uh, creative process. There's no denying that. But I was up for the challenge, and I know that my producers were up for the challenge. Bart McKay, who's one of my dear friends, 
uh, and an extraordinary producer from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, he was the driving force behind two of the albums, the South album and the West album. And then my really great friend, Justin Cutting and Spencer Cheen, who are two of my band members. Justin is my band leader. He took on the North record as well as the East record with Spencer. So they've got an incredible duo there. So it's really great to split up that workload between these extraordinary producers. But at the same time, I did a lot of this work in 2022 and a lot of the songs that I wrote for these albums. Well, I've been writing them over years and have finally compiled enough material to make an entire Western uh, inspired album. So it wasn't like I just sat down and decided to write 500 songs and choose my best 10%, my best 40, 50 songs. These are songs that I have had uh, you know, in the back of my mind or in my memory, I've come up with a creative way to release and, you know, have a great strategy involved with releasing all of this music. And I think really servicing my fans uh, in a way that they've never seen before or actually in a way uh, that has never been done in country music before. Four albums in the same year. Pretty special. Yeah, super exciting. Uh, Brett, before we go, I just wanted to ask, I know uh you're, you're a proud Albertan. You're from this area. Just talk to me a little bit about what it's like to be able to uh, put out these albums, but also have a big kind of have them rooted in uh, uh, this province and representing Albert. I know Our Home is one example of a song that uh, I think when I listen to it makes me uh, proud of this area. And uh, I think that's kind of something that comes through, not even just in your lyrics, but just I know you're always um, coming back to Edmonton and to this area to perform too. It uh, means a lot to you. Well, I really appreciate you saying that. And, and here's, here's the reality is that I love my home so much. I love my roots. I love all of Canada. There's no denying that. I've got an entire album called the East Album, which is an ode to the Maritime Provinces. But the reality here is that in the West, um, and I'm learning this now and seeing this now firsthand, you know, with my own two eyes as, uh, you know, as a young dad and, and a business owner, is that sometimes the rest of the world or sometimes the rest of Canada doesn't understand how great we really are. And so there, it's not about a division between the East and the West, between Ottawa and Alberta. It's not about that. It's just about saying the facts. We are a group of amazing people. We work hard for everything we've ever gotten, that anything that we've ever accomplished, the entrepreneurial spirit here in the West is very strong. And I'm so grateful that I grew up in the West, in Alberta, with so many great mentors, also from Saskatchewan. So because of that, I wanted to do an entire record that's dedicated to that work ethic, that's dedicated to the things that we believe in. And so I've got a song called Oil and Cattle that talks about two amazing industries out here in the West, as the rest of Canada and a lot of other places around the world are against energy and don't want to eat beef anymore okay if that's your choice that's your choice but here where i come from it's a way of life and a way of life i'm very proud of all right brett well thank you so much for taking some time it was uh, great to meet you great to talk with you and i uh, would just wish you the best with everything that's coming up uh, in this next year i thank you very much for that